Hey everyone, today on Feathers Off-Road, I wanna talk about the suspension that comes on this Chinese electric dirt bike. And let's start by looking at the rear shock. At the top of the rear shock, there is a compression adjustment. You just need a flathead screwdriver and you can see hard and soft indicated here. Just below that is the nitrogen reservoir and on the bottom of that's the fill cap for that. I've heard 85 PSI is what to use here. I haven't checked that or had any need to really overfill that just yet. Down at the bottom is the rebound, and you can see again, fast and slow, flathead adjustment here. And this is the bottom of the rear shock. On the other side, you have access to the preload. First, you need to loosen this retaining ring with a hex key, and then this red retaining ring will screw up or down to loosen or add more preload. For my weight, I needed to increase the preload. I did full two rotations of this. There's another explanation about rider sag, and in some cases you may need to change out the entire rear spring. Usually you're shooting for about 100 millimeters of rider sag, and two spins of the preload was perfect for me. Up ahead, looking at the forks, the rebound adjustment is actually on the top. These are inverted like you'd expect on a normal dirt bike, and there's about 20 clicks of adjustment on these. There are no markings on these forks at all, uh, they say that they're fast ace and lower down we will actually see a sticker for that but there are no markings of any kind that I can see about what make model or anything on these so let's go with the assumption they're fast ace I'm not sure down here on the very bottom you can see there is a compression adjustment and if you look all the way underneath uh, again this is just a flathead this is the same as the rear shock there's about 20 clicks worth of adjustment here. Best thing to do is to turn this all the way one way and then click it back until you get about halfway and start from there and go by feel. On the other side of the forks, same thing, 20-ish clicks for rebound on the top. You know, I'd recommend going all the way one direction and backing that out halfway and then going by feel for what feels good for you. Again, there's no markings on here. There's a sticker that shows the number three on it, but what does that really mean? Just be sure to adjust both sides of the forks the same on compression and rebound. Visually, this is what it looks like on the rear shock set to zero compression. So this is all the way soft, very soft. And the opposite, 100%, I can barely push this bike down. I've found that 50% seems to be just right for my kind of riding. I've done the same thing on the forks up front. And that's a quick look at the suspension that ships by default on this bike. Haven't found any need to change anything out yet, but I got to get some more miles on it before I can totally decide. So until next time, enjoy the ride.